Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about an educational program called Edgenuity. Edgenuity is a standard-based online learning resource for students and teachers. Edgenuity focuses on blended learning model and supports the hybrid learning style, uh, which are applicable during these COVID-19 times. So in your Google, you will write down Edgenuity. And if your link looks like this, this should be the correct link. You will click on it. And after that, it will take you to a screen where you'll see this yellow button that says Login. You click on Login. And here it's asking you if you're a student or a teacher or parent. So you click on Educator or Teacher. And you can go ahead and log in with your details. Now, after logging in with your details, on this right-hand corner, you can see that it shows you your details. There is a Home button. Home button will always take you back to the main screen. And the cross button is actually log out. In order to always come back to the main page, you can click on the Edge Annuity also. It will take you to the main page back. Now, on the top, you can see the tabs, blue tabs that say Students, Courses, Reports, Communication, Administration, and Support. So your main two tabs that you'll use a lot are going to be Students and Courses. What you can do is you can select on Manage Classes or Manage Students. You can begin with Manage Classes and we will select Manage Classes for now. We will start by creating a class and as you can see that I've already created my classes here, but we can always create one class as an example and you can work with me. So let us call this class as Biology 181. So I can also add additional teachers if I have other co-teachers teaching this class with me. And I can select the subject that this class will be um, having. I can now select on Create. And as you can see, it's processing and it's saying that the class has been created. All right. This is the class that has been created just now. And it has no students in it. Now we will go ahead and add students into our class. So you select your class. And there are different ways to add students into the same class that we just created. When you um, come to this page on selecting the class, you'll see all the students that are in your school by their grade level. And it'll even show you the timings when they last logged in over here on this corner. So there's one way to do this. Another way is if your students are belonging to the same grade level, you can always filter them according to a grade level. So you select the grade. And then if they're all seniors, I have selected 12th and I apply that filter. After applying that filter, you will see that I'll only see all the seniors here. Another way, if, I, if it's a long list, you know, you don't have the time to go through all the names. You can always look for the name of the student here. You can write down either the first or last name of the student and you select search. When you do that, the student's information will be shown to you and you can select that student and add him or her to the class. So when you select the student's name, you can see view courses. The courses student has already, progress report for the student, session log, enroll in courses, update the student, add to groups, and more. So you would want to go to more and you will actually add the student to the class. There's a drop down menu that you'll select your class biology 181 and you'll press this plus button here so the student can be added to the class now it says the user has been added to the class let us check if that has happened we say okay and we come back to this main tab here and we select manage classes again now you can see the list of all of my classes and you can see the biology 181 has one student in it already let's select that and check if it's the correct student and as you can see, that student has been added to the class. What you can do is anytime you want to enroll students into courses, you can select the student. And you can go through different courses and add the course to the student. So what you can do is you can uh, on the top, as you can see, all of these different options available for you. And also one more thing, you can see the student's name and information in orange button over here. 
Now from here, from this menu, you can even switch the student for that class. So you can click on here and it'll show you another student. So you select add course for that student and it will give you a plethora of courses to choose from. Now that's a long list, electives and all different subjects. So I'm sure you don't have that much time to look through all of them. So what you can do is you can again filter your research and you can say, well, I want all the science courses and that too with 12th grade level. So when you select search, you can select only, uh, you look at science and 12th grade level courses that you can enroll the student into. All right, let us go ahead and look at all of this, uh, these courses here. And we will just select one of the course and we will add that selected course to the student. After pressing on add selected courses, you will see that this course will be added to the student. It's asking you on this page here that are you sure you want to add this course? And we say, well, yes, submit. Now it says the course was added uh, successfully. Here you have an option to add more courses or you can just go back to your um, classes and look at the student and if they have that course. All right. We can select and now you can see that the course has been added to the student's um, list of courses. All right. Um, anytime you are working in the middle and you just want to go to your main page, just uh, click on this Edge Annuity and you will be out of it. Now here, uh, we will also take a look at how to customize a course as per our needs in the classroom. So you can click on Manage Courses. And under Manage Courses, what you can do is you can either search for the course or you can select the course from the courses being sh the list of courses being shown to you. So let us say we can click on sample trigonometry. And the moment you select a certain course, you will be able to see manage enrollments. And you'll be able to um, enroll the students into the course. Again, I selected the course, assign it to teachers, edit course options, add to different groups, customize, and more. Uh, these two are your main tabs that you'll really use with courses, which is customize and more. So you can add that course. Uh, you can take a look at under more. You can take a look at the course structure. So you can actually see what the course is offering. So if you want to e even pick that course or not. View course standards. Is it um, according to the standards you are teaching by? Create exam only course. So when you create an exam only course, it will only show the end of the year exam for that course. It will actually hide all the material, all information, and you'll just use it for the test. That's one of the important features I've seen that anytime you want to take a, you know, entrance exam for a certain course, you can use it for that as well. Um, archive the course, you want to delete that course from your list, you can do that. Scope and sequence, you can even take a look at scope and sequence. So just, um, you know, it will ask you if you want to download. So as a PDF file, you can actually see the course scope and sequence of that course. All right. And then there was one last one, export transcripts. So uh, whatever students have worked on it and their scores and stuff, you can export those. Let's go to customize now. Another important feature. We have selected the course sample trigonometry and there are two options available in order to customize a course. You can create a new course based on this course or modify the course without creating a copy. Um, I would suggest you can create a new course because you can give it a new name and use it rather than just modifying the main course. So you create a new course based on this course. So the whole curriculum is going to be same for you. All right, here you can see that you have a customized course. There's a little pencil type uh, thing here which you can click on and actually name the course as your personal name for the course. So you can even say WHS uh, trigonometry. All right, so when we click on save, it's going to actually keep the same name as I selected. Right after that, it's showing you the, all the content of the course. The whole course is suggested to be 41 hours and 8 minutes. Total lessons are 38. 
and total number of activities are 170. Now, what you can do is you can click on expand all and see your whole, whole curriculum and all the lessons right here under trigonometry. All right, another option is deselect all. When you deselect all, basically you are blocking the whole content from your students. And you can only use the content that you would like to use. So let us say I just want to start with trigonometric ratios. So I can click on this and I want to start my class with trigonometric ratios because maybe last year they got all of these concepts. And what you can do is when you click again on this on right hand side, it's going to show you information about trigonometric ratios only. So you can even edit the trigonometric ratios name if you want to keep it as um, if you want to change the name to let us say sine cos and tan just a casual name um, the moment you say save it has actually changed the name for that unit that i want to work on with my students now right now it's showing me it is one hour nine minutes lesson and activities are five it shows you the objectives it's going to cover in that and also lists all the activities under that sine, cos, and tan. Now, let us say I don't want to work with the, I don't want them to work on a warm up activity with their genetic. I have another activity already lined up for them. And instruction is something I would also um, use another resource for. I would really want them to work on summary assignment and quiz. So these are the three that I want to keep. I can do that. I can block the other things and I can keep what I want to keep. The other thing that is another is very useful is you can move your concepts up and down based on when you're going to work on them. So let us say I want to just do it right uh, before the unit test. So here I have moved it on. The moment I changed it, it, you can see that it's showing me three activities are on and two are off right here. And it's 38 minutes. And what will happen is, let us say I just hide this one also. It has changed the time to 36. If I hide the assignment also, it has changed the time to 15 minutes because I just have the quiz right now. So the moment you cha make changes, it will make changes to your time and the number of activities that are um, active and that are deselected. Now, um, I have made changes to my course. One more thing that is amazing is you can add an activity and personalize your course even more. You can click on project. Let us say you want to do a project with them. So you click on create a new activity. It will come to another um, slide here, which shows you that what type of activity you want them to do. So for science people, you can even make them do a lab report here, writing prompts for ELA and other performance tasks that you would like to do. So let us say in this trigonometry, I want to do a project name. Uh, you know, uh, finding the height of a tree. All right, so I have named my project and um, all the other things. I can upload a file. I can click or drop a file here if I want them to read the information from a Google Docs or something. And uh, a, a website link if I would like to add that. And then once I'm done, I can just um, add that information and I'll be good to go. All right. So what we can do next is now my course is created and customized as to how I want it. At the bottom, after making changes, it will ask me if I want to publish my course. Because once you publish the course, it will be added to the list of all the courses Edgenuity is offering for your school. So you select on publish the course. And you can either go back to customization if you forgot anything. And you can also publish the course. Now, I will return to customization because this is something we didn't talk about, you can also add a unit. So you can add a unit and just uh, write the unit name. Let us say you want to just add, you know, right angle triangle.
So you save that. And as you can see, it has already been created. And again, this is another unit, so you can move it up and down according to how you want it to be. All right. We will now go ahead and check if we can publish this course here. So publish course. It is asking me, are you um, sure that you want to publish this course? Let's go ahead and publish it. Now this course has been published and I can check the course options. It's asking me to check all the course options because I'll have more power over there as to how I want the course options to be um, used. So. Let us say I just want 50 and 50. And it's even asking me passing threshold. So I can even change it to 80. And there are many other options that will ask me how many times you want the student to attempt the certain you know, quiz and certain assignment if you want to want to give them more tries more than one and display guided notes for students. So these are different things that last me and you can customize your course depending on how you want it to be. All right, so we'll click on this right now to go to the main page. And another important thing that you would see is when you select on manage classes, like you can see that we are uh, doing our um, attendance with hybrid learning, we are doing DLP and DLA for the days when students are working from home. So when you select on your class, I have selected on my first hour and it's actually showing me all of my students in that class manage classes and I can select on period one and it's now showing me all the students in just my period one so for period one I can always take a look at their last login this has been really helpful with the attendance you can take a look at their last login and check if they have worked on your assignment from home whatever you assigned them and that is something really helpful so you can clear your filter. The moment you clear your filter, you'll see the names of all of the students in your in your uh, school. You select, uh, you click on Edgenuity, and it'll take you uh, to your main page here. Whenever you have six reviews, it is saying waiting to be completed. This will be some assignments that at times, if they are writing prompts, you know, or journals that the students have done, and they are waiting for them to be reviewed by you. So um, this is all that. Uh, is a part of uh, you know pretty much ingenuity. Now, when you click on the dashboard, I clicked on the dashboard on my main page. Let's go again. This is my main page, and as you can see over here is the dashboard. I click on the dashboard. Under dashboard, it will actually show me all the students that um, I have in that certain class. And as you can see, there is a red um, exclamation mark. Now, red exclamation mark will mean that the student is a little behind in their work. So it will ask you, do you want to review their grade book? Um, are there any retakes? You want to add any retakes for that student? So you want to check their scores? You want to bypass any assignment or activity? You want to email that student or remind them about their work? And here you could even have yellow or green exclamation mark yellow will be like the student is coming to be on track and then green would be um, the student is on track a blue exclamation mark would be that they are doing really great so here you can see that i've created a customized course with my name and then um, i select on the course that my student already is using and it's even on selecting on the course it's asking me do you want to go ahead and customize your course so it'll again take me back to customization and i can um, Customize my course any number of times. So as you can see that I've customized this course and there are some things that I can, let us say I want to hide this for now. 
So even during the course time, during the school time, you can hide some activities and then you can publish the course. And then um, it's asking me because the course is actually a live course and students are using it. So it's going to ask me, do you really want to make these changes? So their grades will be will uh, ch decrease or increase and the date, you know, all that stuff will um, will actually change now because of the changes you made to the course. So I say, OK, well, um, I want to go back to return to customization or publish. So. That's up to you as to what you want to do. But um, this is something that, you know, uh, a course that I created with my name, um, just so students can easily access it. Um, but that was about it. Uh, manage announcements. You can click on manage announcements and actually add an announcement for your students. So here you can say, well, I want to write an announcement for my students. So, uh, and you can just share the information. So let us uh, go back and check once again that we talked about Edgenuity. It's, um, it's a very useful program and uh, I hope you like using it. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.